very much excited. There's definitely going to be nerves whenever you hear that theme tune and you're standing behind the curtain. Ask that question again. Mm. You might have a different answer. <laughs> Congratulations on the film. I loved it. I'm going to start with you, Patrick, because obviously we've seen you on the screen millions of times and lots of stuff. First feature film, right, for you, Patrick. So everybody, I think it'll surprise people, actually, because you've done pretty much everything. This is probably one of the last things you can take the box off. Was that the reason or were you always wanting to do a feature film? Do you know what I mean? What's the thoughts behind the doing Belly Water? Thoughts, the thoughts behind it, I think, would have to be um, just kind of, do every type of thing until somebody says, okay, that, mm. that's all right. So we've now stumbled on feature films. <laughs> uh, and I think maybe um, got away. I'm as surprised as anybody that I'm in a feature film. You know, the first time that we actually saw this, we premiered it at the Belfast Film Festival. Mm. And to see yourself up there on, on that big screen is kind of hilarious and scary and all of those things. But working beside this woman made it really, really easy. Yeah. So I was just kind of hanging on to her coattails and trying to just do <laughs> what she tells me to do. Definitely, no. But I don't think that ever gets easier watching yourself on a screen, like a big screen. Or do you not like screen. watching yourself on oh, screen? Oh, no. Like, no way. No. Really? No, well, like, absolutely not. I'd be underneath the seats. And I understand that I, we do it to, like, say, OK, did that come across right? Or, and also to see, like, how did it turn out? But yeah. no, you don't. No, that's not why... I, that's yeah. not why I do it. Might be why you do it. <laughs> you want to see it's it the only not. reason why I do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should watch this because you're brilliant in it. You're both brilliant in it, and you're on screen so much together. I was wondering, is it intense? And because even in the car scene, it's just the two of you. I, like I assume it's, it's nowhere to hide. It's, it's not that many even cutaways. Is that intense filming? And I assume you have to get on and prep that a lot before the filming starts together. Yeah, it's a very enclosed space at Toyota Corolla and during like a pandemic a pandemic as well so we were very much like in a pod you know um, and it's kind of coming back to me here I'm like god this is actually we're very close here aren't we like this is like <laughs> this is the, this is exactly yeah. the position. setup it's very very weird to be this close to Shauna and not have a steering wheel here yeah 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 <laughs> I don't know what Shauna to do with my hands I'm like <laughs> kind of grinding yeah, yeah. the grinding the gears <laughs> Um, you know what was funny about it was because we shot this in the pandemic and we shot it before there was a vaccine and so what happened was people came in to work they did their job they went back home nobody socialised and so the mm -hmm. only time that I actually got to see this woman was when we were in the car for the scenes you're taken apart and that went on for two months okay. so it was almost like accidental method yeah it, yeah, exactly. But okay. yeah, yeah. And pretty did get, intense. Did you get sick of driving at all? Because you know I mean? you're the one who always has to be in the drive. Like you can sit there and kind of think about your lines and your face. And everything. Or is it easier? Is it a distraction to be driving? It definitely is. Uh, it just like it makes you very present. And like you have to know your not that you wouldn't know your lines, but you have to know your, your lines and you have to kind of know that there'd be a couple of things going on. Yeah. Um, but I suppose it's probably a question for Paddy, like how fearful he was in the car with me driving around because I know Prasanna said I was a bit of a rally driver. I was like, oh, you said you said floor it, so I floored it. But then you're like, oh, it's a real road. It's not like it's that, it's a that, that's, an, that's an understatement. Yeah. Oh, really? That's an understatement. The, the, the thing was that I, I have an abiding memory of being on the Ards Peninsula, yeah. and there was a scene that Sean and I were meant to be in together for a wide shot. So we're both in the car. Then we get a mile up the road and they say, can we have another shot coming down the road with only Shauna in the scene? Mm -hmm. So I'm lying, almost like a kidnap victim, right? In, this, in, in the seat well <laughs> on the back seat. Yeah. And that's when you decided to basically go to go for to go, go Formula One in the car. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> She's a, she's a very good driver. It sounds like you'd be a nervous passenger in this, but <laughs> were, mm. you, were you um, a nervous actor? Because obviously you do so many things, people assume you wouldn't get nervous at this point, Patrick. Do you get nervous, do you know, when you're doing things like this? Walking onto that set on the first morning, that was probably the most scared I have ever been of anything I've ever done. When you do stand-up, you kind of know how that works. Yeah. And so driving onto the set, and I just thought, well, this is an independent film, so, you know, it's not going to be all the big bells and whistles. And then driving on that first morning and seeing all of the trucks and us both having these trailers that were, you know, there was a moment whenever I was sitting in that trailer thinking, I'm not sure I can do this. <laughs> and then they brought me Too over. Yeah. yeah. And then they brought me over to makeup and there was that lovely moment. And then they brought me over to makeup and there was that lovely moment where 
I'm obviously playing someone who's middle-aged, down in his luck, and whose life has completely gone on the skids. Yeah. And I get into the makeup chair, and, and they say, we're going to bring you over for breakdown, which is sort of make you look worse to get into character. And I sat in the chair, and makeup looked at me and went, no, that's good. Uh, <laughs> that's, you, you, you've nailed yeah, yeah. middle-aged life on the skids just looking exactly like that. Brilliant. They're about to wrap me up, so I can't leave without asking you, a lot of nervous questions actually going on. Are you at all nervous about the Late Late Show? Or are you excited? Or what's your vibe this week, about a week away before you start a big gig like that? I would say uh, on a scale of one to walking out in front of a full crew for Bally Walter to shoot my first movie, it's nowhere near that. Um, Confidence. I, I would yeah. say very much excited. There's definitely going to be nerves whenever you hear that theme tune and you're standing behind the curtain. Ask that question again, mm. you might have a different answer. <laughs> I love it. Well, congratulations on Bally Walter. I loved it, and you're both brilliant in it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Very much.